All right, how's everyone doing? I am Rich Chalenza. Thanks for checking out my channel. So what I want to get into today is something I'm calling function versus fashion. And it's, how do I say this? A lot of times when I hear dudes, especially talking about, you know, wearing certain clothes, they're not functional. Is that the word? They don't, they can't feel comfortable in them. They don't, fit them correctly to a certain degree. They may look good, right? Especially like, let's take for instance, say a sport coat or a suit. They may look, you know, very clean, very fitted and good, but they're not very, you know, good when it comes to doing certain things. So I think what gets, you know, aggravating for a lot of dudes, I should say, is them wanting to look good, but them also wanting to be comfortable and not really being able to find that you know, in between type of thing. It's either they look too casual or they're too dressed up, I guess you could say. They like when they're casual because they can kind of do anything they want to do, that, you know, function wise. Uh, they can move any way they could want to move. They're not going to split their pants, for instance. They're not going to rip their shirt or their jacket or any of that. But then when they're, say, for instance, dressed up, they feel kind of stiff, uh, not very mobile. And I may be doing a video on this actually regarding athleisure wear in the future about how I think that is going to be kind of the future of clothing to a certain degree. And I can kind of see the transition already happening, especially after or going through the pandemic, is people becoming more and more casual and that becoming more and more accepted. I mean, in certain environments, sure, it may not be, but if more and more people are going to be working at home, uh, more and more people are going to want to be comfortable. Also, I think with the different fabrics coming out and the different styles, it's kind of looking a lot better. Some athleisure wear or just some athletic clothes in general, I think are starting to look as good as dress clothes. And I sometimes wonder if dress clothes, of course, it's always going to be around. I mean, who knows in the future, maybe dress clothes will come back really strong. I don't know. But will you know, certain collared shirts or certain looks, layers, will that kind of be something that's in the past? Um, you know, you see these movies, right? Like these futuristic movies or space movies or whatever, and they're dressed differently. And you kind of look at them and you laugh because for the most part, especially for men, not a lot has changed. It really hasn't. If you look at, I mean, some things aren't as big. So take a, a suit's a suit, but the lapels may have been bigger at certain times, right? Pants may have been bigger in the leg, say for instance, than now, all right? Uh, accessories, pretty much the same. But even if you go back to like a lot of television shows, I don't care if they're the 70s, 80s, 90s, some may have looked baggier at different times, but for the most part with men, I mean, especially dress clothes. And again, some suits look different. I'm not gonna say they don't. But when I wear vintage clothing, I get more compliments than anything. And I think one of the reasons is, is because a lot of, say suits for instance now are very say the lapels are very thin the the materials are very you know tight there's not a lot there where i like kind of showing off big pieces but what i want to address in this video really is finding something that works again specifically for you and you know a lot of clothes out there that you may not think look good on you may look great on you and that may even be you know athletic wear or if you're somebody too who really is very casual, say you're a t-shirt and jeans type of guy for the most part, or just regular collared shirt, uh, you may want to try different style clothing. And I think a lot of us get sick of looking the same way after a certain amount of time. Not everybody, but I think sometimes we're like, man, I, how many of these type of shirts do I have? You know, I used to go in my cousin's and family members' closets and I would look and they have 30, 40 style shirts. I would say 70% look the same and probably 50% are the same color. You know, you when you go shopping a lot of times, you don't even realize that you're buying most of the same clothes you already own or already have because that's the style you like, but you keep buying the same things kind of over and over and over, over again. Some things may be a little different, maybe a little pattern change here or there, but if you looked at maybe even your pants that you've purchased the last 20 years, say for instance, or jeans, even sport coats or even jackets uh, or anything, even gym shoes, most of, or for the most part, a lot of us, you know, it's kind of the same stuff. 
I'm kind of on the other end of that. I kind of like to switch up a lot of things. But, you know, back to function, you got to find what fits your lifestyle right now, I think. And a lot of people are, I think, scared to do that or spend money doing that. And I understand because I think a lot of people are like, I sh- what should I do here? Especially if you don't have money. But if if you have your clothes are getting worn out or you're sick of your, the way you look and you're just like, maybe it's time to start just dressing differently. Give it a shot. Again, you don't have to buy a lot of pieces. If you like a brand like, you want to try something like a Lululemon, you've always say wore Nike, but you want to try something different. Uh, give it a shot. You know, that doesn't mean you got to go out and spend tons of money on their pants or their shirts. Just try something, you know, maybe just a t-shirt for starters. I'm just saying. Same with the gym shoe. If you've always worn Nike, maybe, maybe try another shoe. Maybe a different look. I don't even care if it's something extreme like Vans. Now, I'm not telling you to go work out in Vans, but maybe it's something, again, where you going, you know, more casual, maybe something that you're looking for. I think a lot of times when we think of people you know, going, uh, I guess you could say, we always think about them going from, you know, casual to dress, like upping their their wardrobe, maybe looking better, looking slick. Maybe you're too stiff. Maybe you're, and I get, if, if you love to dress up, that's wonderful. But maybe sometimes, or a lot of times at this point in time, you may be overdressed. And again, that's your right to do, but maybe it's time to consider like trying some different style casual clothes or fun clothes to bring into your wardrobe. Uh, I had to do that when I was heavy. I was always, when I was thinner, I loved designer clothes and the bigger and bigger I got, truthfully, I couldn't even find those type of clothes in my size. And then I said, oh my goodness, I'm, I'm always kind of dressed up or I'm overly dressed. And I was always kind of programmed better to be overdressed than underdressed. But I'm here to tell you, you know, I, I was kind of caught where I'm like, what, what do I do? Now I'm 250 pounds. How do I dress casual? What was interesting is everyone's like, oh, kind of like the Tommy Bahama look. They're going, go with that, Rich. And I'm trying these shirts on. They didn't work for me. Nothing against Tommy Bahama. But then like the Cuban kind of shirt with just white or solid colors, similar to Tommy Bahama, but Tommy Bahama's all these different patterns and all these different things that I liked. So I started wearing those and those felt great on me. And I also think they just look good too. So now I may not be dressing uh, with long sleeve dress shirts or higher, you know, getting my clothes tailor made and all these things. Now I'm just kind of wearing a cool button up short sleeve, like I said, Cuban shirt and it looked just as good. And it was very casual and I can do a lot of things in them. And I used to be in the bending business and working and I used to also get silk short sleeve shirts. The only problem was in Florida, you start sweating in them and then they're, you're just drenched. So those didn't work out that well. But again, they were at night, very nice and casual. And these are things that I, you may think about as well. You know, if a lot of your clothes are too fitted or you just have too many dress clothes, it may be time to go on the casual tip. If you're maybe too casual too uh, and you're looking to dress up, but it doesn't look like you're going to be wearing suits anytime soon, especially through a pandemic and you want to dress a little, you know, slicker and you're kind of sick of say jeans or wearing dress pants. Again, you may want to try some nice athleisure wear, especially if you work out or try different style pants. Uh, And that could go for Nike, that could go for Under Armour, it could be whatever. You can really look slick nowadays and wear athletic clothes. And if you don't like the way you look in athletic clothes because you may be too heavy or too thin, you know, it may be, and if you want to get, lose weight or say you want to gain muscle, maybe buy some of these clothes to help maybe push you in that direction if that's something you're thinking about as well. I'm going to be doing a video, I think, on, you know, using clothes as a, like a, like something to guide you as far as losing weight or gaining weight or finding your true identity because your clothes is such a big part of your life. And if you really are looking to lose weight, and I discussed this before, you know, you start buying clothing, heading in that direction, like say one size smaller. And at the beginning, you may not fit in it. So if you're an XL and you put an L on, you're like, this thing doesn't fit my belly or it doesn't fit. Well, that's what we're aiming for. Okay. And that's what we want to start fitting in. So that you may not have to wear that now, but say in a month, try it on again. If it's starting to look better on you, you know what I mean? You're starting to see what you'll look like in those clothes. Same with gaining muscle. You may get a, you may be a medium and you start, uh, excuse me, you may want to start building up some muscle 
You go by a large, of course, it's probably dwarfing you at the beginning, but you start working out, you start building up that muscle, and then you go to try it on. It may not still fit you, but again, if you're starting to fill it out a little bit, it's going to give you more ambition, you know what I mean, to move forward, build more strength, get bigger if that's what you want to do. So, uh, yeah, I just wanted to do a video on this because I don't think a lot of people realize that, you know, you can kind of have both. You can look stylized and be casual more than ever, I think. And, you know, that's something I'm sliding into. Uh, I'm more of a Nike guy, but I also have a close friend, Strong Arm Sports. If you see any of my videos, I wear a lot of his shirts for the most part and hats or caps. And I like, I don't like mixing too many brands, but I also don't like overbranding, if that makes sense. So for instance, it's not like I got to wear a New Balance gym shoe with a Nike, you know, pants or shorts, then with a Puma shirt and an Adidas hat. I don't, that's just too much for me, but I also don't need to be, well, I guess I am more or less for the most part, a lot of Nike from top to bottom, but I don't want the brand to just be overly done. I guess you could say where it's all Nike, 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 or all Adidas, Adidas. You can do that. I kind of like just little touches of different brands, but um, yeah, f find what f works best for you. But I'm telling you right now, if there's ever been a time to maybe start experimenting with athleisure wear or just clothes that are more casual that fit well that look good and i've been doing a lot of videos on this not sure if you saw them even going back to your roots t-shirts uh that could go for crew neck v-neck leather coats turtlenecks just going back to the basics that feel comfortable and wearing some accessories where they you know it really kind of takes it up a notch but you're still comfortable you don't always have to wear a dress shirt or a suit coat or a sport coat all the time or a vest every time or clothes that are you know you could just that you're just not comfortable in so i'm gonna wrap it up there if you get a chance uh check out my podcast the rich talenza show i'm also on linkedin twitter facebook instagram you get a chance to subscribe if you want i got a book out wingman i've had it out for years i get a lot i get involved or in that book, it gets involved a lot with fashion and also my Mastering Self-Confidence program, if you want to check that out. All of that you could see through richchalenza.com. But again, any questions, comments, uh, hit me up. I I love hearing from other people giving me either agreeing or disagreeing with me, but um, yeah, so I'll wrap it up there. Take care, and I wish you nothing but the best.